All right, we're back. This is the composite box that we were testing on. And I can see, yeah, yeah doesn't sound like plastic. Uh, but we are going to be actually using the new one that just showed up from Australia. Uh, we just put it in this morning. Everything fit really well, um, looks great. And we're gonna be basically testing out the 91 Octane, finishing up, finalizing the tune today, making sure everything is working as expected so the tune's ready to go and the supercharger kits are ready to go with 86 speed. So let's hop in the car and let's get going. All right, we just finished up the 91 octane tune. And as you can see, we have some pretty good numbers here. Hitting 300 multiple times, 1299.9. Sorry, I didn't hit 300 that fourth time. Uh, you can see the mid-range does change. That is usually from the uh, intake air temp. Um, it's usually causing the timing just to change just a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, it's consistently hitting about 300 horsepower every time. Let's go, uh, let's go see how it drives. All right. Let's see how this 91 octane feels. Wonderful California 91 octane. Yep, that's about it. That's 91 octane. Got some wheel spin there. Yep. Definitely no problem there. Feels nice just driving around. Feels like a stock car. I'm sure that's what everybody wants to hear. But how can you tell? It's a video. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it feels like a stock car. Yeah, it feels pretty good for 91 octane. About 300 horsepower, I'd say, just like it says on the dyno. Note too, it's still on the stock clutch. Seems to be holding up fine. Good thing to know, we don't have to upgrade the clutch. This is definitely an improvement over the last gen. Definitely running more boost, definitely making a lot more power. But overall, the car just feels great. I mean, the fact that you can be in sixth gear, just sitting on the highway cruising and you need to get around somebody, you don't even need a downshift. You can just give it some gas and you're gonna go around somebody. Flipping the throttle is super responsive. I mean, the thing feels almost like a six cylinder instead of a four cylinder. Um, just the responsiveness of it is incredible. Um, you're never going to get that with the turbo. I mean, turbo, you get more power, but that response is, you know, this is for daily driving, that's kind of what you want. Um, otherwise, I think, uh, yeah, I want to see what E85 does. So that's what we're going on to next. So we just finished up E85 and we put some, we put the baseline numbers up there and the E85 numbers up there. So we're hitting about 350 horsepower on E85. It's pretty awesome. To go over what we were making 300, I mean, that's 50 horsepower increase. Torque right about 310 foot pounds of torque now, which is pretty awesome too. And this is still on the stock fuel pump. That was just, I know that was kind of a concern people were having, but we do have bigger injectors for sure because um, we were running out of injector. But otherwise, everything is uh, running great. Uh, we're gonna go take it for a spin now and see how it feels. <laughs> does have aftermarket suspension on this car. It seems like when we're bouncing, it loses just a little bit of traction and the car freaks out. So, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, it is a SEMA car. You know how SEMA cars are. Just get it done. We'll figure it out later. And then it never gets done later. I 
think we're pushing too extreme of a limit here. I mean, we're only hitting about 310 foot-pounds of torque, um, 350 horsepower. That's it's pretty reliable, I would say. Uh, I mean, obviously, you're pushing the, the engine more, but, I mean, on the last gen, we would have customers that are hitting about 350 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque, and they would get easy 70, 80,000 miles out of the car. Um, so I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do the same with this. Just a big, bigger displacement, so everything's gonna be a little bit stronger in general. Um, but yeah, I mean, just daily driving the car, it's great. Stop and go traffic will be fine. Cruising, everything will be fine. I mean, the uh, miles per gallon should be about the same as they are stock. Shouldn't see any difference really there. Um, on E85, you'll be a little different, obviously, but on pump gas, it should be about the same. Shouldn't really see a difference. Unless you're heavy on the throttle, which obviously you're gonna eat more fuel, so. But beyond that, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's a great setup. Thank uh, Sprintex and 86 Speed for entrusting me with the car to take care of it. Uh, it's nice to get the uh, the intake box that we needed from Australia. We got that overnighted from Australia. No, we really didn't. It was like a week. Um, someone's having fun. Anyways, so yeah, this Sprintex kit is great. It's very similar to the last kit on the last gen. Great kit, works well. Not the ultimate power machine, but just the response, the drivability of it, and just the fun of it, and the sound is what kind of makes this kit unique. But uh, that's about it.